Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I have a package. It's not exactly fan mail, there's probably some fan mail -y elements to it, uh, but this is a diagnostics and repair. There are two blasters in here that are very unique, that were uh, bought by a member of the auxiliary but have since become damaged. One of them was dropped, the other one apparently arrived damaged, and they've been sent to me to see if I can uh, bring them back to life. And there's some stuff taped to the outside. We're gonna take a look at that first. And see what's going on. So, we have a sticker. Meowdy. Meowdy Captain Xavier, Roxy here, Morox Mods on YouTube. First, I would like to say thank you for your kindness when it comes to Betty and Winter's Breath. If it wasn't for your offer, I sadly would have gotten rid of them due to my inability to fix them. So your generosity, for, for your generosity, I included a few bags of your favorite candy. I hope you enjoy them. I hope Sergeant Deplorable is able to help or at least fire belt fed Betty, seeing as he appears to have a fondness for these types of builds. Uh, in this package there is belt fed Betty and pieces, winter breath and pieces, five worker P-mags, gummies, um, a package for Sergeant Deplorable, Betty carry handle taped to the outside of the box. Uh-huh. I've also included Winter of Breath's old charging handle. I figured it would help to have it for the redesign. Once again, thank you for the opportunity. I can't wait to do the videos on these gals once they return. I hope you have a lovely day, Captain, and I hope to see you soon. Lovely. There's also apparently shells. I'm not sure why they're shells, but they're shells. All right, we have the carry handle. There's the carry handle. Very good, very good. Mm. We have some kind of a bent priming handle. I'm not sure what this is for, because I'm pretty sure the blaster it goes to is a flywheeler. And I think this is purely decorative, but uh, we'll find out. Here we have the ammo box and a bit, some bits that are almost certainly supposed to be attached. Is this thing entirely hot glued together? No wonder it fell apart. Hot glue has many purposes, but structural integrity is not one of them. Ah, uh, here is Winter's Breath. Which... I see, I see. Looks like it was once largely a strife, but it's had a lot of integration work done, but again... Not the most structurally sound integration I've ever seen. Not the worst, though. We will see what we can do about uh, making that stronger. And as I understand, it has basically no internals. So we're going to have to figure out what's supposed to be in it. And uh, get it working. We do have the barrel, at least. Some of it anyway, all right. So we've got this one that needs, Ooh, we are drifting. Get back in center. We've got this one that needs internals, um, but it's basically gonna be some manner of either semi-auto or fully auto strife. Um, I believe it originally had a solenoid pusher, which we may or may not be able to get. We will find a way to get this thing functional. And then this one I believe was functional but took a tumble and needs some structural repair. I don't know what that came up with. So this is a Centurion Vulcan integration which is quite lovely but 
as you can see, the whole front end has torn off and it looks like it was largely hot glued and or epoxied, which just not structurally sound enough. I'm not actually sure which way this is meant to go. Oh, it's definitely meant to go there. Whew. So we're going to need to rebuild this front. Um, we've got parts. Not sure where these parts went. But the back end is solid enough for now. We just need to figure out this front end, which means we will be cleaning up the material that was held, holding it in place and then finding better ways to secure it. Um, shims, screws, bolts, something. So it actually has something holding it all together. Because that was really just loosely epoxied and hot glued, which is just not solid enough. There's some bits like this is a metal bracket or no, it's a 3D printed bracket, but it is at least screwed in place. There should have been something similar on this whole bottom end and I will probably use metal or maybe plastic or something to connect these two sections and, and screw it all together, bolt it together, something uh, so that that does not fall apart. As far as I know, the blaster itself still functions. That will cycle. Um, I assume it's still basically a deplorable. Um, but with, oof, oof, oof. Okay, yeah. That must be where that went. Anyway. That's what I've got to work with, and uh, I will do, I don't know if I'll do one, two, a series, however many videos it takes me to actually build these out. Probably probably do a compilation video and just do one for each. Uh, like I said, this one's just mostly putting the internals in, wiring it, and, and figuring out what exactly internals we're going to go with. This one is pretty much just a cosmetic barrel rebuild, so I'll get to talk about... Uh, integration techniques, the kind of stuff that I prefer to use to keep this from happening. Because that's just... That's just a big old glob of hot glue. And there are better ways to do that, so... Yeah! Stay tuned! This should be a fun series. In the meantime, I'm gonna eat me some goom. Albanese are the best. Yum, 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 yum. Especially blue. Blue is my favorite. All right. Stay tuned, and we'll see if I'm able to uh, pull this off. Thank you for watching.